Welcome to my study today. Let's have a look at have and have got. Is there a difference in how we use them? And is there a difference between English English and American English? Let's look at some examples. At the end of the video, there's an exercise for you to practice. So let's get started. I have or I have got really comes down to whether we're speaking or writing. If we're talking about possession, that's owning something, I would say, I've got a new electric car. I've contracted the have to I've, I've, I've got a new electric car. But if I was being formal and if I perhaps were writing something, I would say, I have a new electric car. Peter's got an eco-friendly car. And I contracted the Peter has to Peter's. Now, sometimes you don't hear this in English, which makes it rather difficult. Peter's. Peter's got an eco-friendly car. The formal or written example would be Peter has an eco-friendly car. But using this contraction can sometimes be confusing. Supposing I said Peter has a dirty dog. Well, that's quite clear. But if I said Peter's a dirty dog, Peter's a dirty dog, what would I mean? Would I mean Peter is a dirty dog or Peter has a dirty dog? You have to be careful with that one. For talking about relationships, we like to use got. My father's got three brothers. And illnesses especially. Have you got a toothache? I've got a headache. He's got the flu. The flu, not a flu, as some students do say. He's got the flu meaning influenza. When we talk about the state of things, we like to use got. This house hasn't got a garage. This house hasn't got a bath. But probably if it was written or spoken about by the estate agent, the man who's selling the house, he might say, this house doesn't have a garage. That's slightly more formal. Be careful with got in the past tense because we don't really use it very much. I wanted to phone you, but I didn't have your number. I wouldn't say I wanted to phone you, but I hadn't got your number. I would substitute didn't have. American English is slightly different. Do you remember Apollo 13 and John Swigert? Houston, we've had a problem. He didn't use got there, did he? He didn't say we've got a problem. He put it in the past tense and he said we've had a problem. Very often Americans will drop the have, I got a problem, I got a problem. Listen to American films and American speech and you'll hear that very clearly. And they would ask the question in a slightly different way. I would say, has your sister got blue eyes? But in American English, it's does your sister have blue eyes? Slight difference in the way we use these two words. And Americans use a different past participle. She's just gotten a new boyfriend. Gotten. We use got in English. In older English, we used to use gotten, but when the language crossed the Atlantic, it changed. The Americans keep gotten and we use got. She's just gotten a new boyfriend. Now let's have a look at some questions and negatives. Three forms are possible. Have you got any money? Do you have any money? Have you any money? And the responses to these usually stay in the same form of the question. Have you got any money? I haven't got any money. Or you could say, I haven't got any. Do you have any money? I don't have any money. Have you any money? I haven't any money. The third one would be a little unusual in English because it does sound very formal, but certainly the first two you would hear. The third person forms, that's the he, she, it, look like this. Has Mary got a car? She hasn't got a car. Does Mary have a car? She doesn't have a car. Has she a car? She hasn't a car. And like the previous ones, really the last one would be a little unusual because it does sound too formal. Remember, in the past, we rarely use got. Mary had a car, but she sold it. 
and for past questions and negatives we make substitutions. I didn't have your number, not I hadn't your number, and did Mary have a car, not had she a car. So be careful with those two. Those sentences are actually quite difficult to construct correctly. So here are some written sentences for you to practice. And if you found my lesson useful, could I ask you to subscribe below and ring that bell. Thanks. Exercise one, use the got form instead of the simple have. And here are the answers. Next time, we'll take a look at the question form word order. Questions like, do you know what time it is? So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.